I think what's really great about this game, and what I'm excited about in regards to this game, is that it's sort of telling the story of Spyro from the beginning. He's actually a, a small purple dragon that is raised by dragonflies. He doesn't realize he's a dragon. And within the story, as the story progresses, he learns of his true self, where he comes from. You know, that there are these elders, these kind of guardian giant dragons, and that he's one of, of this ilk. And throughout the game, he starts to learn more about what he's capable of as well. The significance of being a pur purple dragon is something special. The powers that come along with that. And what's really cool as a, as a player, I think, is that you get to learn these different attributes throughout and use them in different ways, um, such as breathing fire, which is kind of typical to dragons, or breathing ice or electricity. And these things just kind of come throughout the game. And it's a really, really interesting story-based game that I think is quite immersive, which is cool. If I could leave with one of Spyro's powers, what could it be? It's tough. They're all pretty good. Um, but the old standby, the, the ability to fly, you know, that's a big deal. Breathing fire, okay. That could be, I mean, I could really run into some trouble with that. You know, can you lessen the amount of fire that you're breathing? What if you only intend to, like, I don't know, light a candle, for instance, but then you light up your couch. You know, that could be really problematic. Electricity could be good because you could probably turn, like, infuse something with power, but then how do you know, like, how, how much power to infuse it with? Like, how many amps it takes? I and mean, if you go overboard and then you burn out all of your electricity, that'd be bad. Ice could be good, but then I could see that being extremely dangerous as well. I mean, all of these things I think you'd have to learn how to regulate because you could... You could freeze yourself, you could... I don't know, I think there's a lot of... I, I, flying's the safest. I'll go with flying. I mean, he's a character that sort of starts out entering into a world that he's unfamiliar with and taking aboard something that is kind of quite massive. It's, it's not dissimilar uh, from, from a, a journey that I'd taken before as someone who is embarking on something that is sort of bigger than they could conceive of or bigger than them. I came in to do the session today, and I was told that I didn't know who the rest of the cast were. And I came in and I was told that Gary Oldman did the voice of Ignitus, um, which blows my mind. I mean, he's one of my favorite actors of all time. Um, a true, true chameleon, someone that you can't really peg, has done every kind of voice, character, imaginable. I mean that my time for heroics has passed, but with your help, we might be able to beat Cinder. I, I can't, Ignitus. I just learned what I am. You can, Spyro. You can. You are a purple dragon. A very special creature. It's a pleasure to be associated with, with him because I'm such a huge fan. And David Spade as Sparks as well. Um, I've met David uh, a couple of times and he's a really sweet guy and really, really funny. And, and for this kind of character, it's so important to have someone that's sort of biting and, and sarcastic and funny. Um, Sparks is definitely all those things, and David Spade's perfect for that. Spyro, can you hear me? Are you okay, buddy? You listen, forget about those cracks I made about your fatness and your being purple and stupid and fat. I'm very much, as a gamer, I'm very much attracted to a game that includes a great story that I can sink my teeth into that will allow me to kind of continue to focus on the progress of the game and lead to other games. Um, you know, my favorite games are story-based games. Um, and if the story's good and the, the actual gameplay is fun, then yeah, that's, that's all you need, really.